My name is Alexis Kirk and I'm a Senior Research Fellow at Plymouth University's Interdisciplinary Centre for Computer Music Research. Today's performance is superposition and it's an interaction, a duet if you like, between the uh, celebrated mezzo-soprano Juliet Poshin and the D-Wave 2X quantum computer under the care of Professor Daniel Lidar at the University of Southern California's Viterbi School of Engineering. Alexis came to visit us uh, at USC for two weeks, uh, interested in collaborating with scientists, and I was immediately intrigued. I invited Alexis to uh, experiment with our D-Wave machine, and together we worked on uh, his ideas of uh, trying to turn quantum computing into music. What's actually going to happen is when Juliet sings, the loudness and the pitch of these notes will be set in almost real time to the quantum computer in Los Angeles and they will impact these quantum processes like entanglement and superposition. A superposition is like a cat that's inside the box that is both dead and alive at the same time and you don't know what state it's in until you open the box. What Alexis figured out was a way to take a problem uh, that has multiple equivalent solutions and then combine all these solutions in order to create uh, one single musical piece. Now what's very interesting about this is because it's a quantum computer, it returns multiple answers. The advantage in using quantum computers, they allow us to test many different possibilities all at once, much faster than uh, we could do using ordinary computers. So I'll be told at any time on the laptop a number of possible chords that can accomplish Juliet. Now what these multiple answers will represent is this incredible state of superposition that occurs in a quantum computer. When you put all of these notes together, you don't just get chaos, you get a chord. So for the first time, an audience will be able to hear the superposition effects of quantum mechanics happening in the giant chords that are accompanying Juliet. Of course, this was only made possible thanks to the University of Southern California giving us access to a quantum computer that they have there. So I'd like to thank USC in Los Angeles for doing that. 